Have you ever had trouble achieving your goals? The answer is probably yes, right? Because you're human. It's a simple question with a complicated answer because there are a lot of reasons that we don't achieve our goals or we go part way and then we quit. And so this year, 2023, I came across a new to me methodology for achieving the goals that I'm gonna share with you and I'm gonna share with you my goals. And the concept is a, telling your goals as a story, a goal story, okay? So if you have trouble achieving your goals, take a listen to this and I'm gonna give you some examples with my own goals and it could help you give some power behind achieving those goals. So a goal story sounds fairly self-explanatory. You start with the, with the list of goals, but you create them into a story that you tell yourself. Science has proven that humans connect with stories, right? We want to hear stories. We're naturally drawn into them. And so if instead of looking at a, a cold list of goals, like, I want to lose 30 pounds this year. I want to take a trip to Hawaii or whatever your goals might be. You craft them into a story to draw not only yourself in, and you'll definitely draw yourself in, but you will motivate yourself through the power of story and perhaps you'll motivate other people as you share your story. With that being said, I'm going to be vulnerable and share my goal story with you for 2023. It kind of freaks me out to share my goal story because A, it means I'm sharing my goals, which means I'm publicly airing my hopes and dreams. And so if I fail, I put it out there. But I know that it's an important thing to do. I think this process could be transformative. So I want to try it out and share it with you guys. My goal story centers around who I want to become. I own a marketing business called Summertime Communications, and I help small businesses create written content like blogs and newsletters and social media. I love what I do. It's amazing. But what I want to do even more of is to create content of my own for my blog and for this YouTube channel. And I want to get back into the shape that I was in a few years ago before I started my business, before a lot of life transpired, really. I love my business. I love my clients. Every day is delightful because I get to do the things that I really enjoy on behalf of other companies. But I also have a deep burning passion to write and to create and to share ideas that I have besides the work that I'm doing for my clients. And so what my 2023 goal story looks like is me investing in content creation through more blogs and more videos and it also becoming the fittest version of me. My story involves me taking the time out of my day every day to create content, to write blogs and to also create a video for the blog. If you're watching this video, I also wrote a blog about it, which I'll link in the description. But I know that you have to, if you want to eat an elephant, as they say, you have to take it in small bites. So a small bite for me looks like setting aside half an hour every day before I dive into my daily tasks to write. If I take half an hour every day to contribute to a blog post, then I will probably be able to get one blog post published a week, which is my goal. If I take time once or twice a week to take an hour to sit down and record one to three videos to correspond with the blogs I've written, and I just make a habit out of doing that, I will be very excited to see what will come of my journey and how much I will be able to publish on my blog and on my YouTube channel just by taking the simple step of a half an hour a day to create content, to write, to record, to share ideas. And I also, as a footnote, I give myself permission that at the end of half an hour, if I'm really in a groove, I just keep writing for a little while longer. The last couple of days, I ended up writing for 45 minutes, and that was great because that was what I needed to finish my thought process. That's where I see 
myself going in the future as more of a content creator and having the content that I create be an income source and not just something that I do as a hobby. Because I love sharing ideas. I've amassed plenty of great ideas being in marketing for 20 years and I want to be able to share those with the world as well as my other passions. I've mentioned my blogs a lot, but that also involves writing marketing how-to articles for my business website, which is something that I know will bring traffic to my website, which is something that I do for my clients, but I've been neglecting for myself. Building content for my brand with as much gusto as I spend on my client work, which is really scary to admit. But here I am telling you my goal story. Now, the second part is on the fitness front. I mentioned that I want to get back to the previous shape that I was in a number of years ago. And back in those days, this was when my husband and I were just getting acquainted in the summer of 2009. I had completed my first triathlon, which was my bucket list thing. And I was doing a ton of hiking. So I was essentially in the best shape of my life. I could hike anything without giving a second thought to how steep it was. And having done the triathlon training, I was kind of in all, all around good fitness. And so um, I've let my running and my hiking kind of lapse in recent years. And I want to pick that back up. And I'm currently picking that back up. So my goal story for fitness involves getting back to that spot I was in in 2009. And so that's gonna involve me taking the time to, to run regularly, which I've been doing. And it'll involve me doing more hikes, which I need to add into the schedule. That's a little bit more complicated because it takes a little bit more time than just going for a run in my neighborhood. One of the things I'm doing to help prepare for that is I've signed up for a trail run next month and I will be, uh, that'll be the first of several I'll be doing this year. And so to, in order to train for the trail run, obviously I'm doing some trail running and I'm making sure to add some hills into those runs because there's going to be hills on the runs and I, uh, my plan is that um, I will add more and more hill running into my schedule and I'll add hikes a couple times a month and as I continue to push myself on that front I will find myself as the weeks and months go by getting in better and better shape for regaining that fitness level. Right now my goal is to get in that overall cardio shape and so once I achieve that then I can start looking at the next thing which is working on my running pace but one thing at a time on the fitness front right. So to kind of summarize I've told you a story. I don't know how great of a story it is but my story involves who I want to become and that is not just a person who hustles all day advising clients on their marketing, which again, I love, but it involves me sharing my thoughts and my knowledge in the form of written and video content and embracing my identity as a content creator and as a fitness enthusiast with the fitness level of yesteryear. So that's my story of who I want to become. And by telling myself that story, that motivates me to go out and take the smaller steps to become that person. If we look at it as who we're becoming versus achieving a specific goal, then I find that it's more motivating to go out and do the things. I'm gonna go out and go for a run this morning because I need to, to become that person, to continue becoming that person who runs 10 to 15 miles a week. I'm not going to become that person by not doing it. And so having it as a vision of who I want to become makes it easier to build it into my daily routine. I hope that makes sense. As it pertains to you and your goals, think about those things that you've written down that you want to achieve. And think about how you can build that into a story. What does it look like? You're the main character in your story. So what does that main character do? How do, how do you conduct yourself on a day-to-day -day basis to live that story out and become the person that you want to become? I think in doing that, 
in visualizing who we're becoming and telling it to ourselves as a story, it motivates us. It's a work in progress for sure. With the goals that I've told you about, I'm taking baby steps every day towards them and using those as benchmarks are helping me. And so I hope this helps you too to think about your goals in a different way that will help you achieve them. And I wish you all the best in chasing your goals as a story and a vision of who you want to become. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.